Today we're going to talk about the TW6900. We're going to talk about connecting it to power, turning it on, adjusting your time and your amperage settings, connecting the cables, gun setup, as well as we're going to do a couple test welds. So connecting this to power, this is a three phase unit. This is our ground cable. Everything else shouldn't matter. Okay, let's go ahead and connect our ground cable and our control cable or our gun cable. We're going to go ahead and lift the front panel. On the left, you're going to see the ground with the two terminals. On the right, you're going to see our weld cable connection with two terminals. These terminals are uh, connected in the back, so either terminal will work. In the middle, we have our gun control cable. I've already removed the nut. check to make sure we have the correct input settings for the power. We're going to take a 3 8 nut driver and remove the four screws on the top. Once you've removed your screws, make sure you are disconnected from power. This machine is capable of running on 230, 460, or 575 three-phase. Reference a chart here for the tap orientation. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn the machine on and then set our time and amperage for the machine. Before I turn it on, you're going to see the gun retract three times. This is perfectly normal. This is just for the machine to run through a test cycle. Again, perfectly normal. So first things first, our settings are going to be based off of the diameter of the stud. In this case, we're shooting a one inch diameter. It wants our time at 1.2 seconds. Our time is up here. We're going to push and depress the button. We can rotate our knob to get our time that we want and then release. And the amperage is going to be 2100. Amperage is on the bottom, push and hold and adjust where we get our desired setting. This machine is set up with a coarse and a fine adjustments for your time and amperage. With it being on the coarse settings, you can get close to our setting. You can switch it to the fine. Okay, let's go ahead and adjust our gun setup. First things first, we're gonna take our 530 seconds Allen wrench and loosen the set screws on either side of the legs. We're going to load our stud in, make sure it's all the way in. Load our ferrule on, and make sure the ferrule is sitting on the fingers. We then want about a quarter of an inch of stud sticking out past the end of this ferrule. Once we've got our settings that we like, we can snug it down and go. One thing to note, we want to make sure we're shooting on clean material, very minimal rust, and no paint. We're going to take our stud, load it in our gun, make sure it hits the stop, take our ferrule, load it in the gun, come down to the material, push, make sure we're flat and straight, and then pull the trigger. Give it a second, and then come straight off of. 